And Joker, when I enter the kingdom of heaven, and you're not conscious, you're not aware of things around you because you're so drunk, because you wanted to be wasted. And that's why. What is reality? Well, come talk to me. You busy? Oh, no, what, what's reality here? You say escape from reality? Well, yeah. I just said that, John. You hear me right? I just said that. I think gratification was... Which... Which... Yeah. But there, there is, there is consequences. When when you get drunk, there is consequences. You know, this escape your own reality. That's basically, you know, there's massacre, there's killing, there's jumping. I went to a club over there in Fort Myers, and these people started welling on each other, started fighting like five or six people. Like two people got arrested. Why they go out, got drunk? You escape your own reality. Then who is in charge of you now? I mean. You gotta think about this, man. You, you see, you can't escape reality. You get drunk, you don't know, you're not gonna know what's happened. You end up in prison, you gotta say, what happened now? You walk up into reality, now you're prison. <laughs> you walk up into reality, you was wasted and drunk, and now you wake up and realize, wait a minute. You see what I mean? That's why it's important the gospel to preach the gospel. Because we're trying to shine a light so you can see and understand where you, the direction you're heading at. The broad path that you're in, that you're comfortable in, is gonna send you to destruction. And so then we out here turning people, there is a narrow way, only few will find it. But we here pointed to the direction that this narrow path will take you into eternal life, take you into paradise, take you to the presence of God. The worst thing you want to hear is say, depart from me. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. You see, those are words that we don't want to hear. It's because you have been warned from the gospel that's being preached, the gospel, the good news. The good news. Is that you receive the gospel. This is the good news that Jesus Christ died and rose again from the dead. But you must deny yourself, pick up the cross, and follow Jesus. They got a soul into the spirit. And seek Jesus Christ so he can give you the re-identity. Give you who you really are, who God created you to be. Praise Jesus. That is the good news. He want to take you away from that fog mind so you can think clearly and understand the reason, the purpose that God has for you.